question 13 the table shows the marks scored by some candidates in an examination you have the marks in percent and frequency that is the number of students that scored between the various group 0 to 9 7 candidates 10 to 19 11 candidates 20 to 29 17 candidates 30 to 39 20 candidates 40 to 49 29 candidates 50 to 59 34 candidates 60 to 69 30 candidates 70 to 79 25 candidates 80 to 89 21 candidates 90 to 99 says candidates a part of the question construct a cumulative frequency table for the distribution and draw a cumulative frequency curve also known as OGIF B part of the question use the curve to estimate correct to one decimal place what we got one the lowest mark for distinction if 5% of the candidates passed with distinction remember figure 2 the probability of selecting a candidate who scored at most 45% solution in order to draw the cumulative frequency curve we just need to add two additional columns to this table where you have mark frequency cumulative frequency and class boundary because you plot cumulative frequency curve by plotting cumulative frequency against the upper class boundaries solution a construction of cumulative frequency table you have the max as given and the respective frequencies to get the next column cumulative frequency is just simply addition where you start with the first frequency 7 plus the second one 11 you have 18 plus 17 you have 35 plus 20 you have 55 plus 29 you have 84 plus 34 you have 118 plus 30 you have 148 plus 25 173 plus 21 194 plus 6 you have 200 then to get the class boundaries you use the max or class interval so the first one is 0 it remains as 0 here we have to get the boundary value first the boundary value is simply difference in adjacent sides divided by 2 you have this is one adjacent side the difference is 1 this is another one any two you take the difference is always 1 1 1 if you divide 1 by 2 you have 0 0.5 to get the lower class boundary you subtract the boundary value from the lower class limit starting with 10 you have 10 minus 0 0.5 that is 9.5 20 minus 0 0.5 you have 19.5 then 90 minus 0 0.5 you have 89.5 to get the upper class boundary you add the boundary value to the upper class limit so you have 9 plus 0 0.5 you have 9.5 29 
plus 0 0.5 you have 29.5 59 plus 0 0.5 you have 59.5 99 plus 0 0.5 you have 99.5 you can do others to plot the curve you just need cumulative frequency against the upper class boundaries so we have construction of the cumulative curve on the cumulative frequency axis the vertical axis we need the scale so that we can accommodate between 7 to 200 so let's take the scale 2 centimeters to 20 units what I mean is that from this all region to the end of the second bus here each bus is 1 cm 5 lines so you combine 2 and give it 20 the next 2 becomes 40 the next 2 60 the next 2 80 and so on this k also means 1 cm 1 cm to 10 unit for that reason one line on this axis is two then on the mark axis or upper class boundary we don't need a special scale from zero you mark the first cm 9.5 the next one 19.5 you have 29.5 39.5 49.5 59.5 in order to have a uh, enough space and neat work so the values are not there but i just show you that they are there so let's plot the various points seven against nine point five on the vertical axis one line is two that means seven is between six and eight somewhere here against nine point five eighteen can be located the last line before 20 against 19.5 35 can be located between 34 and 36 you do that against 29.5 55 is between 54 and 56 you plot that against 39.5 89 84 can be located directly after 80 the next line 82 the next line 84 and you plot that against 49.5 the next line is next point 118 it can be located close to 120 you plot that against 59.5 148 can be located somewhere here as before 150 you plot that against 69.5 173 is between 172 174 okay is between 172 and 174 that is somewhere here 194 is somewhere here and 200 is here 200 is here against 99.5 so all the points have been plotted if you plot this curve correctly you always have s shape from it even is is even clear here so let's join the point together and see the shape very clearly part b rafigo one you are asked to find the lowest mark for distinction if five percent of the candidates passed with distinction so if five percent of the candidate passed the exam with distinction it means 95 percent that is 100 minus 5 passed with a mark less than or equal to the lowest mark for distinction 
So we calculate number of students that fall in this category. That is 95 over 100. If you convert 95% to ordinary fraction, divide by 100 and multiply by 200 total student. That is 190. From the curve, 190 is somewhere here. You trace to the curve. That is, that is from the vertical axis, 190. You trace to the curve somewhere here and you trace down. Remember, this place is 89.5. Now, between 79.5 and 89.5, the difference is 10. And you have five lines there. That means one line must be two. So that you have 79.5. The next line is 81.5. The next line is 83.5 the next line is 85.5 and where the line falls on becomes the fourth line from 79.5 and that is 87.5 is the lowest mark for the distinction one to go to number of candidates who scored at most 45 percent they are 68 percent that is the mark is this uh, horizontal as is so if you count from 39.5 this place is 45 you trace to the curve and you trace to the vertical as is and you have 68 in that place so probability at most 45% is equal to number of candidates in that region 68 over total candidates. When you divide, you have 0 0.34. To one decimal place, you have 0 0.7. Sorry, 0 0.3. To one decimal place, 0 0.3. Peter Kors simplified maths. If you are watching or viewing from YouTube, subscribe to the channel, like and share PSM videos. If you are watching and viewing from Facebook, follow and like the page. Also share PSM videos. Lastly, there is every need for you to be saved. And if you are not, you need to give your life to the one that can save you and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior. If you are saved already, congratulations, live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left. Take good care of yourself, stay out of trouble, study your books, do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye.